Welcome back, here's what's making headlines today. Pakistan Navy's firepower is about to get stronger. The advanced stealth frigate PNS Takhrul 2 is set to join the fleet in June 2025. Featuring cutting-edge radar evading tech and powerful weapons, this warship will boost maritime defense in the region. Laser warfare is no longer science fiction. Nescom is working on a high-energy directed energy weapon, DEW pod for helicopters, designed to neutralize enemy drones and missiles mid-air. Could this be a game-changer for Pakistan's aerial defense? Pakistan's drone capabilities are leveling up. NUST has unveiled the Issue Kit, a breakthrough system designed to enhance UAV range, endurance, and precision targeting. This innovation could redefine Pakistan's surveillance and strike capabilities. A major boost for Pakistan's next-gen fighter jet, China has officially offered the WS-19 engine for Pakistan's AZM stealth fighter, promising higher speed, greater agility, and reduced radar signature. Could this propel the AZM project forward? Pakistan's search for a new multi-role fighter jet faces delays. The MRFA tender is still awaiting finalization by the PAIF, with top contenders like the J-10C Rafal and Su-35 in the race. When will the Air Force make its big decision? Hey everyone, welcome to Paggio Defense Updates. Let's get straight into the big stories. Here are today's detailed headlines. Hit that subscribe button for more updates. In a groundbreaking development, the United Arab Emirates and Pakistan are collaborating to co-develop a next-generation fighter jet marking a significant shift in regional defense dynamics. This partnership aims to leverage the technological prowess of both nations, potentially leading to the creation of a cutting-edge aircraft that could redefine air combat strategies. The initiative underscores a commitment to self-reliance and innovation in defense capabilities, reflecting a broader trend of regional cooperation in military advancements. As this project unfolds, it may well usher in a new era in air combat with implications for global defense alignments and technological progress. Could the future of aerial combat be controlled by human motion? NESCOM is inviting proposals for a revolutionary wearable body-controlled flight system. This cutting-edge technology aims to enhance pilot maneuverability and response time using AI-driven sensors. If successful, this could redefine how fighter jets are operated, reducing the need for traditional cockpit controls. Are we stepping into the era of science fiction warfare? Pakistan's underwater fleet is set for a high-tech upgrade. China has confirmed the supply of advanced sonar and sensor systems for Pakistan's Hangor-2 submarines. These next-gen sensors will enhance stealth capabilities, detect threats at greater distances, and give the Pakistan Navy a major advantage in undersea warfare. Could this shift the balance of power in the Indian Ocean? Pakistan's AZM stealth fighter project could get a major boost. Turkey has officially offered its cutting-edge TFX engine for integration, promising superior thrust and stealth performance. However, the project now faces a critical challenge, funding for flight tests. If Pakistan secures the necessary budget, the AZM fighter could take to the skies sooner than expected. Will this be the breakthrough needed to rival regional air power? Pakistan's missile technology just took a massive leap forward. NESCOM's latest RAD NG air launched cruise missile has reportedly achieved an astonishing Mach 10 speed. Blazing past hypersonic barriers, with its advanced guidance system and long-range strike capability, this could be a game-changer in modern warfare. How will this affect regional deterrence and Pakistan's strategic strength? Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, please subscribe to our channel for more updates and insights. Like this video to show your support. And don't forget to answer today's question.